Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, Iceland's been rocking and rolling. USGS is listing three earthquakes for the area, all magnitudes. So there's been a lot more. Uh, we got a 5.4, a 5.7, and a 4.5. We'll start out with a 5.4. Two people reported feeling that earthquake. Yep, the continents are moving. I don't know if you can see the area or the name of that area where uh, the felt reports came from. I'm not going to even try and pronounce it. They're saying it was a depth of about 10 kilometers, and they do not have a moment tensor ball for this earthquake. The 5.7, four people reported feeling this earthquake, and there's the locations of where they came from. One response there, one there, and one there. They said there was four responses, but they're only showing three. There's the location of the 5.7, then the 4.5, also 10 kilometers in depth. I want to go back to the moment tensor ball for the 5.7. Here you can see we got uplift and a fault line. Uh, tension was applied going uh, southwest. Pressure, the first wave of the earthquake, the P wave, came in from the south. All right, the 4.5. No one reported feeling that earthquake. This red line here shows the division between the Eurasian plate and the North American plate. The North American plate is moving west. The Eurasian plate is moving east. And this is where we got spreading. And you can see right here, all these earthquakes are on the North American plate. Yeah, Iceland is being uh, divided in half. Now, what I did was went through uh, using um, EMSE and marked all the locations of these earthquakes. The ones in red are magnitude 4 or greater. And there was three. There was one that was a 4.5, a 4.1, and maybe, yeah, another 4.1. But you can see where these earthquakes were clustered. Um, these are the 5.7, uh, the 5.4, and another 5.7. And then there was another 4.5. Like I said, USGS is not reporting all these earthquakes. Um, with the location of so many earthquakes in one area, it looks like there might be a fault zone, a fracture, that is locked. See that? You can almost follow them across in different little lines of movement. There also was some other earthquakes today. Let me bring this out. Um, there was a 4.6 that was not being reported today by USGS. I if I can. That was on um, EMSC, 10 kilometers in depth. And... There was another one. Uh, where was it? I don't see it. Um, down here was the most violent eruption um, probably ever recorded back in 1783 and 1784. Uh, this fissure that erupted affected the earth, um, put out so much sulfur dioxide, um, that the stars could not be even seen. And that happened also during a leap year, which this year is a leap year. Here's that other earthquake that they're not reporting, the 4.5. This was on EMSC. Let me bring this out. More than likely, what I've seen in the past, that when there is movement on the North American plate, um, soon after, there'll be earthquakes up there in Alaska. That's just something that I've observed in the past. Um, very well could happen. Let me bring this out and bring it around. There is, um, yeah, our, our country, the U.S., North America. We got Canada. Let me bring this down and around. But more than likely, we're going to have um, earthquakes for some strange reasons, when Iceland has a swarm, they end up having a swarm there in Alaska. So we'll have to keep an eye on that.
I would not be surprised if we have earthquakes along um, this other fault line that I've talked about. Uh, the one that goes up around Michigan through the Great Lakes uh, that's bordering uh, Quebec and the U.S. Yep, and like I keep saying, as the Earth's magnetic field weakens more and more, we're going to see more large earthquakes, more volcanic eruptions, and things like that. Yeah, 2020 is definitely a year. And I think many of you have your eyes open and are prepared uh, for more stuff to happen that's, than has already happened. Yeah, there was a 3.7 way off over here. Uh, kind of a little straggler. And then there was a 3.8 way off over here. And a 4.5, which they're not reporting USGS. Like I said, there was a lot of earthquakes that USGS is not reporting. But EMSC is reporting them. You can see right here. 3.0, 3.6, 3 3.0, 3.4. Uh, let's bring it down here. 3.6, 3.0. Uh, 3.4, 3.3, uh, 4.5, and then we could go into the next page too, but I won't. Now, on average, Iceland does have about 500 very, very small microquakes every day uh, because of this tectonic movement and um, all the volcanoes that are along this line where um, Iceland is being divided. But this recent swarm has nothing to do with that. Um, tension builds up in this area. And eventually, yeah, it just pops. And this is what happened. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.